Okay, so they want us to graph, let me bring it over here. <clears throat> y is less than one fourth x. <clears throat> so how do we do it? Well, first off, whatever number is out here to the right, which is nothing, so that's going to mean zero, is the vertical y-intercept. So whatever number is off to the right is the vertical y-intercept. So in this case, there's nothing there. So that means it starts at zero. Right there, there's your first dot. That's how you get your first dot, right? And, and that's because y is alone. Remember, we have the y equals or greater than or less than or whatever, mx plus b. So, and then that means that this right here, the one fourth, that is rise over run, isn't it? That's the slope, the fraction in front of x. That's the slope right here. This is the slope. And the number off to the right is your first point. So one four, that means you go up one, you know, positive one, you rise. And then over four, one, two, three, four. Right there. So I should move this. So it works better here. Yep. Anyway, um, and that leaves a dot right here. Everybody tracking with that? You see what I did? So we got our two dots. We can make our line now. So again, how do you get your two dots? <clears throat> when y is alone, if, if y is not alone, you've got to get y alone. But uh, this one it was convenient. Y was already alone. So when Y is alone, the number off to the right, that is zero in this case, because there's no number off to the right. That's the vertical Y intercept. That's where, that's where your line goes through the Y axis right there. So that's at zero. Okay. And then the fraction in front of X, that's the slope, go up one. And this is over four. This is the run over four. So <clears throat> we went up one, you know, from the first dot, go up one and over four. There's your second dot. Okay. So now we're going to connect these two dots with our line. Like that. And we keep it going. There we go. So the line just keeps, oops, that's kind of funny. That line goes forever through those two points. You make the line through those two points, but I just messed it up because in reality, our line is going to be a dotted line, isn't it? Oops. Doing that so well. It's going to be like that. Mr. Heron, I have a quick question. Yeah. Well, if our if our problem is y is greater than x, so does that mean that there's again there's a zero zero on the y intercept, and uh -huh. then and then that x is just one or, or one over one? Exactly. Yeah. If you have y greater than x, yeah, that means you you exactly right. That means there's one over one there and zero back there, right? So you'd start with zero, just like I did. And then the, the rise over run would be one over one. Yeah, good question. Whenever there's no number in front of X, we know that means one, or if you need a fraction, one over one. So you'd go up one over one. There'd be the second dot. Connect those two dots. You'd get a line like this. That's right. That's right. You got it. All right, good, good work. So let me get rid of that extra stuff I put in the graph. There we go. That's exactly what you would do. You're right. Good. And also from like the last lesson in 4.6 or 4.5, um, the whatever is next to X will always be the rise over run or the slope. Right. And as long as Y is alone, your um, your vertical Y intercept will always be B. That's right. Exactly. As long as Y is alone, what's next to X is the slope, rise over run. And the number that comes after that is your B, your vertical Y intercept. And then also say that we have a two Y, we would divide both sides by two, correct? Right, because like, you got to get Y alone. No, I right. mean, what I meant is we divide both numbers on the right side by two. That's right. That's right. If you had a two Y, 
you'd have to divide everything, all three of them, which means both numbers on the right and the one on the left by two. That's right. Whenever we divide, we divide all the way across, all three of them. Okay. Right. All right. Thank you. Yep. And then let's finish this up. We got to do the shading now. So uh, the last thing is the shading. So let me make this clear. So remember, there's three zones. There's three zones. There is right, right on the line. That's the y equals, in this case, one fourth. I'll just, just call it equals. That's the y equals right on the line. So on the line is when y is greater above, above the line, greater, greater stuff is above the line, and y less. That's below the line, right? Y less is below the line, right? So there's three zones. Above the line is Y greater. Yeah, we're supposed to shade. We're supposed to shade where the answer is. So Y greater is above the line. Y less is below the line. Y equals is right on the line. Well, they're telling us to shade Y less. So we're only going to shade <clears throat> it's, uh, down here y less i'm not gonna i'm not gonna shade the line because now they, if they had a bar underneath here like that if they had the bar then i would also make the line solid that's how we shade the line so to speak we make it solid so yeah if they had less than or equal then i would do below less and the equal the equal is right on the line and i would make the line solid but they just have less so I'm only going to do below, and the line is dotted, which indicates the line is not really included in the answer. It's not part of the answer. It's just serving as a border to the shading, but it's not really there itself. It's dotted. It's, it's invisible. It's not really there. Does that make sense? So to be clear, if you have Y less than, you shade below, oops, shade below dotted line and y greater, you would shade above. Again, dotted line, because you don't have the equals. Whereas if you have y greater than or equal, greater again is shade above, but that would be with a solid line because you would say shade the greater than stuff and the equal stuff. So you would have a solid line, you're including the line. Whereas if you have y less than or equal to, again, that's going to be shade below because lesser stuff is below. <clears throat> but again, that would be a solid line because it's you want to shade the less than or the equals. And the equals is the line, make the line solid. So those are the four cases. We have less than, so only shade the stuff less. Don't shade the line itself. It's not equal. We don't want the line itself. We only want the stuff below. So there we go.